All right, take a look at this, everyone. This is my neon yellow shrimp in my neon yellow shrimp tank. And as you can see, kind of beyond the uh, pieces of hornwort here, she's buried. She has eggs on her swimmerettes. Oh my gosh, you have no idea how happy this makes me. Oh my goodness, she's a good healthy mama shrimp. Oh, I'm so happy. And this is actually really important because this tank was one of the two that suffered from a catastrophic failure in their biological filtration uh, about a month or so ago. Um, it was my neon yellow tank and my tank up here for my pumpkin orange shrimps. Now, my pumpkin oranges are doing good. There's like eight of them in there. One of them has clearly been buried for about two weeks. So about a, about a week or two from now, she'll uh, have her eggs hatched. And that's been fine. I've not been worried about the pumpkin shrimp because there's plenty of them. The neon yellows had an issue. Uh, there was a nitrate, a nitrate spike in the tank. Uh, when I had like maybe seven or eight of them in there and then they just kept dying and I didn't notice the spike until there was only about four left and then I only count three now but the water has been perfect now for the last few weeks and uh, it's really starting to show and I was thinking to myself oh man I'm probably going to lose my investment because I ordered ten neon yellows and now I'm down to three, and I've been down to three for the past few weeks, and I'm thinking like, oh man, I'm probably never going to get any babies out of this. And sure enough, today I come down to the fish tank room, and I look at her, and I'm like, oh yes, there's a neon yellow with babies. Well, the eggs, at least. So as long as I keep the water clean, good, healthy, and they have biofilm to nom on, I think I'm going to get a bunch of neon yellows in this tank after all. <laughs> Investment saved by one female.